her parents are having fun. If you, <laughs> if you can, we're starting off this Let's Play right, guys. Okay. Hey guys, it's Bite Size, and welcome to the very first episode of 16 and Pregnant. For those of you that don't already know, this is Hannah Cardwell. I did a Kaz video showing you the guys the process of me making her, and I talk about her backstory and the storyline and everything, so if you haven't already seen that video, definitely go check that out. In the Kaz video that I did, I told you guys a little about Hannah's family, but I hadn't introduced you guys to them yet, so this is Emily Cardwell, Hannah's mom, and then her dad, Mark Cardwell. And I told you guys that Hannah also has a adorable dog named Baxter. He is a boxer Rottweiler mix and he is currently just over here taking a nap. So currently it is Sunday and it's about a little afternoon. And Hannah and her family moved to Copperdale about a month and a half ago. So they moved towards the beginning of summer, but Hannah hasn't started school yet. She will officially start her first day of school tomorrow. So this is her last day before she starts at a new school. So I thought that we would just kind of spend the day and let Hannah just enjoy her last day of freedom and kind of just relax for the most part and get prepared to start at a new school and make some new friends and all of that good stuff. But this is the Cardwell's house. They, like I said, they live in Copperdale. They moved here not too long ago. They moved from Willow Creek. And when you come in, right off to the left hand side is their living room. And they also have a full bath down on the main level and their kitchen and dining area is off to the back end of the house and when you go upstairs there is three bedrooms and two more bathrooms so oh her parents are having fun <laughs> you can, we're starting off this let's play right guys okay but this is mark and emily's room and then there's another bedroom that is just currently empty because Hannah is going to end up pregnant. But we aren't starting off with her pregnant. I wanted to kind of build up to that and kind of just build into the storyline and show you guys what her life was like before she got pregnant. I thought it would be kind of an interesting twist on this kind of story. So that's what we're going to do. And then over here we have Hannah's bedroom and she is currently just playing some games on her laptop and just kind of enjoying the afternoon. I feel like Hannah's pretty anxious about starting school. She's never moved before in her life. She's lived in Willow Creek since she was born and so that's all she's known. So she's pretty anxious to start at Copperdale High, but at the same time, she's also excited. She wants to be involved in different activities and make some friends at her new school and really just make the most of it and enjoy herself. She is a cheerleader, so she'll be starting on the cheer team tomorrow after school. So she's a level one, so she's a cheerleading fresh recruit. And then I also have a club for her. So Hannah is also going to be in basketball. And so I created kind of like a basketball team for her. So she has some of the other girls from school that are going to be on the team with her. She hasn't officially met them in person yet, but they're going to be on her basketball team. So we have Casey, Kaylee, and Charlie, who we'll see a lot more of throughout the Let's Play. But that is kind of the deal with Hannah. So she's just spending the day with her parents. Right now her and her mom are watching some TV. And I feel like her mom's just kind of checking in on her and asking her about how she's feeling and if she's excited to start school tomorrow or if she's nervous or if there's anything that she can do 
to kind of help her because they moved for Mark's job. So he is an engineer. He recently got a promotion. So, But one of the kind of deals with the promotion was that he couldn't stay local to where he was currently working. So they had to relocate and that's how they ended up in Copperdale. I feel like Mark's kind of the type where he's very just matter of fact and very like let's get the job done type thing he doesn't really worry about things too much he just knows that things just need to get done whereas emily i feel like felt a little bad for hannah with everything because they really had to kind of uproot their lives and move and she knew that that was going to be really hard for her nonetheless hannah is very excited she's She knows that being in Copperdale is going to really just open up a lot more opportunities for her and that in the end it really is going to be a good thing for them. But Hannah is getting hungry so I think we should bring her over here and we're gonna have her make a garden salad and get something to eat. And then I think after we do that... I did put her cheer mat out in the yard, so I think we'll probably have her head out there and practice for her first day of cheer tomorrow as well, because I feel like Hannah would be really nervous. She was on the cheer team at her old school, but since it's going to be a new school and she doesn't know anybody yet, she's really anxious and she just wants to practice and kind of ease some of her anxiety about the first day of school and about her first day of cheer and there's going to be a lot of stuff going on for her tomorrow on Monday so that's what she has going on but right now she's just making her garden salad and then she's going to sit down and eat with her parents we'll probably feed Baxter he is over here at the door he actually has to go to the bathroom so we're going to have Emily come over and ask him to go potty because we don't want any accidents in the house you guys <laughs> but she's gonna have Baxter go out and go to the bathroom and Hannah is just finishing up making her food and then she's gonna sit down and eat I feel like she's feeling playful right now she's probably as the day goes on I think she's getting more excited like she has been pretty anxious about the whole thing it all kind of just got thrust on her but now that it's getting closer, she can kind of see the silver lining and know that it's hopefully going to be a good thing. Her grandparents do still live in Willow Creek, and she used to spend a lot of time with them. So now that she doesn't live in town anymore, she won't get to see as much of them. And I feel like in that aspect, that would make her pretty sad. But all in all, she's feeling pretty good. She's anxious and she's excited for so many new things that are going to be coming up. It's going to be a whole new adventure for her, but we are going to call Baxter and have him come eat because it is about his dinner time. So that is what we're going to do and he's going to come over and eat and then I think we should actually take him on a walk after he eats because Hannah and Baxter spend a ton of time together. He is like her pride and joy her baby. She just adores him and she begged her parents for years to let her get a dog and then they surprised her for Christmas one year and brought Baxter home and ever since then she's just been super excited and super like spends so much time with him and I told you guys I also told you guys in the video that we did or in the intro video that we did that she because of Baxter she actually realized that when she graduates from high school she wants to be a become a veterinarian and so she just really loves animals dogs especially she spends a lot of time with her dog and so I think we're going to take Baxter out on a walk once he finishes up eating here So Hannah's just out on a walk with Baxter and they're just kind of enjoying the cool fall evening. I feel like they do this most nights just because Baxter's a really athletic, really hyper dog and they, she just likes to take him out and just let him burn his energy and 
she hasn't, like I said, she hasn't lived in Copperdale all that long either. So I feel like she likes to get out and just kind of walk around town and just take a look at everything and go downtown and look at all the shops and she really just wants to get familiar with the new place and because she got so comfortable living in Willow Creek since she grew up there and so she's really enjoying being in a new place and having all these new things to go and do and to see so that's what they're doing and I think I'm just going to let them finish up their walk and then we will catch back up with you guys when Hannah and Baxter are back at home. Alright guys, so Hannah and Baxter are back home and now that they're back, I'm going to have Hannah come over here and perform a solo routine on her cheer mat and just kind of get prepared for her first cheer practice tomorrow. Because I feel like that's one of the things that she's most excited about for tomorrow is she's excited to start out on a new team. She really wants to make some friends and she knows that being in an activity like that is really going to kind of help her gain a close-knit group of friends. So she's just practicing that and then we're gonna, before long, we're gonna have her head off to bed. But she clearly needs to practice. She almost just fell here, but oh my god <laughs> this is what i would look like as a cheerleader i can't even lie yep she's done like she just straight up was like i have had enough i'm going back inside so that didn't last very long but we she actually wants to go watch a little bit of tv so i think we'll let her do that for a few minutes and then it is going to be time for Hannah to head off to bed, so I think we will actually just catch back up with you guys in the morning when Hannah is going to get ready for her first day of school. So it is currently 5 o'clock on Monday morning. Hannah just woke up for the day, and I think we're going to start off, we're going to have Hannah go to the bathroom and... We're gonna have her do that and then she needs to come downstairs and feed Baxter and get him something to eat and then she's also going to make some fruit salad for breakfast so that she has something to eat before she heads off to school. So she's just kind of getting ready for the day and getting more and more excited about meeting some new friends and stuff. She's feeling optimistic and really hoping that it's gonna be a good day. She doesn't really know what to expect, but for now she's just getting ready, so she's gonna head downstairs and get Baxter some food. He's right fallen right behind her. He knows what time it is, so he's just gonna eat his breakfast and then Hannah's gonna make her fruit salad and then after she does that we'll probably have Baxter go out and go to the bathroom but that is what we have going on. Mark and Emily are still upstairs sleeping. They don't have to be up just yet for work. Hannah just wanted to get up and get an early start on the day so she's just making herself some breakfast. All right, she just finished making her fruit salad so she's just gonna come on over here to their dining table and sit and eat her breakfast. Baxter just finished eating. She's already really embarrassed. She's grow it's so she has the mood that she's growing out of control from <laughs> experiencing puberty. Hannah found out her hair follicles have gone through a growth spurt. If she doesn't get it under control her hair is going to become a battleground of tangled and matted hair. So she's already starting off her first day just like completely feeling it starting off on a little bit of the struggle bus today but we are almost ready to go to school so while i while we finish waiting for her to head off we're going to probably have her come up here and just grab the laundry that she left in the bathroom and have her throw that in the washer so that she can get that done before she heads off for the day but other than that, she doesn't have anything going on, so we will catch back up with you guys when we arrive at school. Alright guys, so we are now at school. We just got here, 
And the first thing that we need to do is Hannah needs to come in and we're gonna have her come over and talk to the principal. She needs to ask about her new school and just kind of get familiar with Copperdale High and figure out her class schedule and all that good stuff. So she is just over here talking to May, their school principal, and just kind of introducing herself and just telling her that, that her name's Hannah and that she's the new student and she was told when she got here she was supposed to come into the office and talk to her. So May is just kind of giving her the rundown and letting her know kind of how everything's going to go and they're going over her class schedule and she's telling her, like, talking to her about where the lockers are and telling her that she's going to have to go get her locker all taken care of before class starts. So right now they're in their free time. They'll have free time for another hour until 10 o'clock and then she'll have her first class. But right now she's just talking to May and we... So before May walks away, we need to learn about our new school. So Hannah is off to her first class. We are going to have her, so she's just heading over. I'm gonna find her seat. So they are, her very first class is gonna be math and, oh, all right guys. And so the guy that just sat next to her, I also talked about in the introduction video that I did, and this is Justin. And Justin is going to be playing a really big part in this Let's Play. If you guys watch that video, you'll kind of know more about that. But Hannah actually met Justin at Thrifty. She went there one day to try out their boba over the summer and Justin was there. So she already met Justin and they kind of hung out a couple times over the summer because he was the only person that she knew in Copperdale yet. And she hadn't been able to stop thinking about him all summer. She really thought that Justin was cute and that he felt like her type. And so she was really excited to come to her for school to start because she was really hoping that once school started that she was going to start to see a lot more of Justin. And right off the bat in their very first class, he came in and found her and took a seat right next to her. And so she's just over here cheesing. She's super excited like, oh my gosh, the cute guy just sat next to me. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, but now we are officially done with our first class, so we are going to have Hannah go over into the lunchroom and get lunch, and we'll see if Justin comes in and sits with her. Otherwise, I think she'll probably go find him and want to chat with him while they have time, but we're just going to have her grab the junior lunch and then come sit at one of the tables she hasn't, she spent the whole free period in the morning kind of just going over everything with the principal, so she hasn't had a chance to really meet any of the students yet. And so I think she's going to sit with Justin and just want to talk to him while they have their lunch hour. And she has just been staying super close to him all day. He was right next to her while they were heading in here. I feel like Justin's really feeling her too. And if you guys watch that video, you know that I talked about Justin doesn't really have the best reputation around town or anything. Like he's, I wouldn't say that he's like a terrible guy by any means, but he definitely has a little bit of a reputation with some of the adults in town. They think that he kind of has a tendency to get himself into trouble and just, do things that he really shouldn't. He's not the greatest with girls. But with Hannah being new to Cle or to Copperdale, she wouldn't really know that yet. So I think that that's going to end up being a little bit of a problem. But we are going to have her come over and ask about his day. I feel like she's going to be like, oh my gosh, like I haven't seen you in 
a few weeks. I was super excited, hoping that we would have class together. I'm really glad that you're that you're in my class. It's really nice to know somebody on my very first day. It makes me feel a lot better. I haven't met anybody yet. So she's just kind of talking to Justin, but he's all the way over here. <laughs> so they're just kind of chatting and he's super excited. He wasn't sure if they were going to have any classes together either. But he was really happy when he found out that they did. So we're just going to kind of chat with him while we have a chance to. And we also have all the other students over here just eating and stuff. But she is only interested in talking to Justin. She pretty much beelined it for him as soon as she saw him come into the lunchroom. And so they are just sitting here. They're just vibing. They're really just enjoying the time that they have to be able to talk to each other. So we're going to enthuse about interests. And I feel like Justin's asking her if she wants to hang out after school. He wants to know if she wants to come over to his house and maybe they can hang out and watch TV or go up to his room and maybe play video games or something like that. But Hannah's like, you know, I'm really sorry. I have cheer after school today, so I'm not going to be able to, but I don't have cheer tomorrow. So maybe we can get together then and I would love to come hang out. And I think Justin was all for that and he's super excited to have her, or, and he's super excited to have her come over. He's been excited to see her again, but now that lunch is over, they're heading back into their next class. And so Hannah's just taking her seat again, and we are getting ready. I don't know where Justin went this time. <laughs> Up he still sat in the front row with her too, but he's a couple seats over. So they are in science class, and we will pick back up at the end of the school day. All right, guys, so we just finished up with our first day of school, and our end of the day report says Hannah seemed a little inattentive in class today. She should make sure her class skills are up before next week. I think that's really interesting. I feel like the fact that Justin's in her class, like, really distracted her, and so I hope that she's able to keep up with school and that he's not going to get in the way of that too much because I know that she has a lot of goals for herself and she really has these dreams of being a veterinarian. She wants to open up her own vet clinic one day and move to Brindleton Bay. And I don't feel like she'd be the kind of person that she would let a guy get in the way of that. But I think that's really interesting, guys. I think that's going to be really telling to kind of what her and Justin's relationship is going to do to her. But we are going to have Hannah head home and she has to get ready for cheer. So we will pick back up once she is back from cheer practice. All right, guys. So Hannah just got back from cheerleading and she's feeling super energized. So I think she had a really good practice. I think she's feeling like, you know, I'm really glad I'm doing this. I think I'm really going to enjoy it. However, her fun is really low, so I think we're going to come in and have her roughhouse with Baxter and just play with him. She was really excited to get home and just spend the evening with him, and obviously he's super hyper and super excited that she's finally home. She was gone all day, and so she's just roughhousing with Baxter. I just think that's super cute. She didn't even get out of her cheer uniform yet. She's like, oh my god, my puppy. <laughs> But now that Hannah and Baxter are done playing, I am going to have her change out of her cheer uniform. We're just going to put her into her pajamas and then I'm going to have her come over and make herself some dinner. I think we'll do a high energy protein plate and just have her make that and then she needs to do her homework this evening as well. So that's just kind of all that she really has going on. We're going to have Mark come over here and feed Baxter as well because it is Baxter's dinner time. And he came right over to the bowl. He's like, um, hello, is anybody going to feed me? <laughs> 
All right, so Baxter's just gonna eat his food and Hannah's finishing up making her dinner so that she can start her homework after she eats. And I feel like she's just gonna talk to her dad. They're gonna share their love of dogs. And I feel like he's also gonna ask her, you know, like how was your first day? Like, how did everything go? And she's probably just telling him, like, you know, I think it went really well. And obviously Hannah's a teenage girl, so I don't feel like she would really talk boys with her dad. But she's probably just kind of more playing it off. Like, you know, I feel like there's a couple people there that I can make really good friends with. And I'm excited to really just spend more time with them and get to know everybody. There seems like there's a lot of good kids at the school and I'm really going to enjoy it, but she's not mentioning Justin's name at all. She doesn't want to, she's not interested in talking to her dad about boys at all. And she also probably feels like it's a little too soon. You know, they haven't, her and Justin haven't had any thing romantic going on with them yet. They're, they just, hung out a few times over the summer and just been starting to get to know each other. So she doesn't feel like it's really necessary to bring it up to her dad. She doesn't want to jinx anything. She's just really hopeful that something kind of comes of it. But for now, she's just finishing up her food. And then we're going to have her sit and do her homework as well so that she can get ready for another day of school tomorrow and I feel like Hannah is really ambitious and like I talked about she has all these dreams of being a veterinarian and opening her own clinic and stuff so I feel like her grades and school and activities and everything is really important to her and I definitely like I talked about while she was at school I think Justin's gonna get in the way of that a little bit but at the end of the day I don't think she'll lose sight of that too much or at least we can hope not but that also might be a little too soon to tell so right now she's just finishing up her homework and I actually think that after she does that she doesn't have too much longer before I'm gonna have her head to bed so I'm going to wrap up this part right here, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I know that this first part was probably a little slower and we will pick up more as the episodes go on. But regardless, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm so excited to be bringing this to the channel for you guys. And I hope you all stay tuned for the next episode. And I love you guys. Bye!